Welcome to EE544 on Thursday, May 1st, 2014. Are we on? Yeah, we are on. Okay. Uh, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, uh, the one final reminder, the final exam is uh, May. Thir thank you. 13, Tuesday. And it's from 2 to 4 p.m. And it's this room, all in hall of engineering, 3, 1, 2. Huh? One, oh, one, three, two. Sorry, permutation, different permutation. One, thirty-two. Uh, all, all in all of engineering, one, thirty-two. And I will be sending you tonight after I get home. Of course, after I have my get my day, I will be very hungry. Uh, I will be sending you the material that will be uh, included in the in the test. Clear? But it's practically the entire uh, uh, semester. But, but, but I, will, I will let you know about it when I get uh, home. Okay. Now, can you... Oh, okay. So, let me make one... No, but, I mean, can they see this? Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, uh, operator, can you put the... the oh, yeah, please, just momentarily, before I... Uh, can you zoom in, please, a little bit? Um, I can't zoom in on the computer. Oh, okay, you okay. have to... Okay, yeah. don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So what, what do I need to do? Come help me, help me, extra credit. Uh, one second. Yeah, yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's, it's uh, one day you, you should come and give me lessons on this, these things. Here. Okay, let me make uh, one comment on this. This is your last extra credit. There's no more extra credit. This is the last one. This is it. Uh, uh, which is a big one. Five point extra credit. And this is due on Sunday. May, is it too soon? Too soon or not too soon? Too soon? Okay, let's make it Monday, May 5th. May 5th. Let's make it Monday, May 5th, midnight. Yes? I, I, will, uh, I, will, uh, I will broadcast it. So, so it's Monday, May 5th, midnight, via email, to my email. Please, on the subject matter, write extra credit, last extra credit, so that I know what it is. First of all, one attachment. You send me multiple attachments, I will not even open it. One attachment. So everything has to be in one file. Okay. Assignment, of course, is individual. A single point will be given to every resolution. You will see the question is asking for what? Five resolutions. So for every resolution, you are going to get what? You are getting one point. If your answer is what? It's correct. Notice, by the way, this is a design, which means what? Is there a unique answer? Of course, not a unique answer. As long as you satisfy what the question is asking you, it should be what? It should be okay. <clears throat> However, I need to make it clear to you. I do not want you to dwell on this problem, which means what? Is that if you are stuck and if you uh, uh, cannot do anything about it or something like that, I don't want you to spend all of your time instead of preparing well for the final. Did you get this or not? Give it some effort, but do not dwell on it. Because in the final exam, there is no way in the world I will give you something like this. Uh, it's not fair. Did you get this or not? 
the questions on the exam will be on this topic, on this topic, which is what? The frequency synthesis most probably will be analytical question, which means what? I will give you the synthesizer and I will ask you what? What is the range that it is generating? What is the resolution? Blah, 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 and so on and so forth. Clear? Rather than what? Tell you to, to uh, come up with it. Clear? So don't dwell on it. Just try your best. Now, a couple of more things that I need to bring to your attention before, before we start. <clears throat> the entire, uh, first of all, how many phase, what, uh, let's start from the bottom. The synthesizer is supposed to generate frequencies in the range of 3 to 3.9 megahertz, 3 to 3.9 megahertz in steps of what? 100 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 1 kilohertz, 100 hertz, and 10 hertz. Do you understand what these numbers are? These are what? The resolutions. How many phase lock loops do you need? If you do have five resolutions, you would need how many phase lock loops? Five phase lock loops. The output of the VCO of each one of these phase lock loops should be what? For example, the first phase lock loop, the output of the VCO should be between what and what? Between 3 megahertz to 3.9 megahertz in a resolution of what? 100 kilohertz. Did you get this or not? The second one should be from what? 3.1 to 3.9 megahertz in a resolution of what? 10 kilohertz. Clear? And so on and so forth. Are you following me or not? This number one. Question number two. I don't want you to sketch, sorry, uh, comment number two. I don't want you to sketch the phase lock loop separately. They are all within the same block. Did you get my point or not? Now, the input to every one of these loops, the input to every one of these loops needs to be what? Needs to be the, the 100 kilohertz. Do you see the second bullet? No, not the second bullet. The third bullet. Did you understand what this means? What does this mean? It means that, by the way, the 100 kilohertz, right away you know that if you are using 2 megahertz, 2 megahertz of uh, the, the, uh, the, the uh, crystal oscillator, somehow you need a divider to, to get what? To get the 100 kilohertz. Did you get my point? That 100 kilohertz needs to be the input to every single one of these phase lock loops because it tells you that all the phase lock loops needs to be locked to a what? to 100 kilohertz reference. Clear? Yes or no? Okay. Now, one more thing before we, we go back to our discussion. I want everything to be what? A phase lock loop based. In other words, I don't want to see something like this. You, oh, sorry. I don't want you to see something like what? You, you sketch a phase lock loop and then the output, there is a mixer sitting there by itself. Do you follow me or not? Everything has to be within a what? Within a loop. Clear? Within the phase lock loop. Clear? All the inputs to the mixers, all of them have to be generated from where? Eventually generated from where? It tells you all the what? Where? I have no idea. Here, it tells you, make sure that the inputs to the mixer are all synchronous, any mixer you use, any mixer. By the way, you would need to use mixers. Why do you need to use mixers? You would need to use mixers because the resolution is what? It's changing. Yes? While the what? While the input reference is still what? 100 kilohertz. Did you get my point or not? All of them, all of these mixers needs to be what? Needs, you need to make sure that their inputs are what? Synchronized from the what? From the crystal oscillator. Which means what? Either coming directly from the crystal oscillator or what? Within the what? Within the phase lock loop synchronized to the crystal oscillator. Clear? Okay, so again, I don't want five separate synthesizers. I want one synthesizer, but with how many outputs? With five outputs. Did you get this or not? And one final thing before we continue. One final thing. I don't want to see dividers by what? One million and some dividers which are silly. I mean, one million. By the way, I will show you in a minute. Divider, divide by two, divide by four, divide by eight. So if it is divided by one million, it means what? You are going to fill in the diagram with what? All the blocks or modules of what? Division by two. Division by, by the way, everything in reality, they base it on what? Division by two. Because that's easier to design. Clear? So if it is one million, it means what? I'm, I'm going to use what? Five modules. How many modules? Whatever. Five. 550,000 module or 500 or something. So the numbers need to be what? Reasonable. Clear? Yes. Professor, 
As long as it is part of the PLL, as long as it is part of a phase lock loop, then it means what? It's synchronized. If it is not part of a phase lock loop, it means what? It's not synchronized. And that's not allowed. So as long as you use some stuff which is what? Either derived from what? The crystal oscillator directly. Are you following me or not? In other words, the input to the mixer is the crystal oscillator. Did you get this or not? Or part of the what? Part of the phase lock loop. Did you get my point or not? It has to be synchronized. It tells you it has to be synchronized with the what? With the, uh, with the crystal oscillator. Clear? I'm going to repeat it one more time. Do not dwell too much on this. You follow me or not? It might get a little bit frustrated. I admit it might get a little bit frustrated. Just give it a try or two. But if you, if you, if you are stuck, at least submit what, one or two. One or two should not be that hard. But coming up with all resolution needs a little bit more time. Clear? Getting one or two points is better than what? Nothing. Clear? Okay, good. So we are done. Can I have the overhead, please? Ah, thank you very much. Okay. Now, let's uh, continue our discussion from last time. We started looking. Let's, uh, <coughs> let's review it quickly before we get into the digital uh, synthesizer. We were looking at a phase lock loop uh, PLL-based uh, frequency synthesizer. And again, as I told you, basically, we have a what? We have a reference uh, source. We have a reference source. By the way, could we have a divider here? We could have a divider in here. Are you following me or not? We could have a divider in here. Uh, the reference source, and then this is the loop, which consists of what? Which consists of the phase detector here, which, uh, which consists of the controller. Controller means what? Means a combination of what? A loop gain and the loop filter. The loop filter. Generically, they call it a controller. And then, the, of course, the VCO. This is the output of the VCO, and the VCO is uh, fed back through what? Through a divider. And again, as I told you last time, that divider could be what? Could be an integer divider, or it could be a what? A fractional divider. Clear? An integer divider or a fractional divider. The frequency, when locked, when locked, the frequency of this guy is equal to what? M-R-E-F. No, sorry. M-F-R-E-F. Which means what? What is the resolution? The resolution in here is what? Is F-R-E-F. By the way, if you go back to the supplementary problem that I was just telling you about, if we say that all phase lock loop is locked to 100 kilohertz, if you don't do something different, what does that imply? It implies that the resolution for each one of them will be what? Will be 100 kilohertz. Now, that is one of the requirements at the beginning. That's what I meant by saying everybody should at least get the first resolution. Did you get this or not? Which is the 100 kilohertz. That's straightforward. Clear? Okay, keep that in mind. Okay, so this is the PLL frequency synthesizer. And again, as I told you, it is used where? Let's see if you can help me. It is used where? It is used as a local oscillator. If you remember, this is a heterodyne receiver. We have the LNA here. We do have the image eject filter. What did we call this? We call it the channel select. Remember I told you, the IF is a what? Fixed frequency. So when we want to what? When we want to select different channels, we need to have what? Different what? Different LOs. Did you get my point or not? We need the IF is fixed. So if we want to select different channels, it means what? The local oscillator needs to be what? Different. That is the one that I'm getting it from the, from the, uh, from the phase lock loop. Clear? Okay. Now, again, as I told you last time, is that the frequency is related to the what? To the phase. So instead of working in the frequency, you can easily work in the what? In the phase. As I was showing in just a second, if you work in the frequency domain, Sorry, if you work as a frequency or if you work as phase, the transfer function will be what? Will be the same. Why? Because the transfer function is basically a what? A ratio. Do you follow me or not? A ratio. Clear? In the S domain, what is the relationship between omega and theta? In the S domain, in the S domain, omega equal to what? S theta. Did you get my point or not? Why is it S theta? What is the relationship between omega, which is the frequency, and theta? It which is the phase. It's what? 1 over 2 pi d theta of t dt. Yes? But the d, when you take the transfer function, the derivative is just basically a what? An s. So if you take the ratio of the omegas, or if you take the ratios of the phase, it will be the same because the s will what? Cancel in the denominator and the denominator. Clear? 
Okay, good. Now, <coughs> this is, again, we, we already talked about this. This is, by the way, this is the linear. I don't know why it's just like this. This is the what? The, the linearized version model. This one is the what? This one is the, we called this one last time, Z of S, terrible. It's F of S, which is the transfer function of the what? Of the filter, clear? KP is the what? Is the phase detector uh, constant, uh, uh, proportion, proportion constant, and KVCO over S, what is this? That is an integrator, clear? That's an integrator. Are you following me on that? No. Once you have, by the way, again, as I told you, once you have an integrator in the denominator, that will help what? That will help reduce the what? The steady state what? Error. The more integrators you have in the circuit, the more integrators means what? The more poles you have at the origin, the more poles you have at the origin, what will happen? What will happen is that you are going to what? You are going to ensure that you are going to get a steady state error equal to what? Zero, no matter how much this one is changing, either in steps or in what? In a ramp or whatever the case might be, as I will show in just a second. Clear so far? Okay, just one over in. Okay, this is what? This is a closed loop. When I say first order PLL, what does it mean? When I say first order PLL, what does it mean? It means F of S is what? Is a scalar. Are you following me or not? In other words, the F of S is just simply a what? It just simply a gain. Uh, are you following on that? It's not going to provide you with any poles or zeros. Clear? The closed loop is what? Is phi naught over phi in? What is phi naught? Phi naught is the phase out of the VCO. V in is the phase of the reference. Clear? And again, could I have written this omega naught over omega i? It's the same thing. It's, it's just S will cancel. Clear? So we work in terms, in terms of this. What do I get? I get this M, which is the division factor here. KP times KVCO over what? SM plus KP, KP VCO. Both of these are what? Are positive. Are you following me on that? What are we insured here? If we are using a first order loop, what are we insured? We are insured that the phase lock loop is unconditionally what? Stable. Unconditionally stable. Regardless of the values of what? KP and KVCO, as long as they are positive. Why? Because all the poles are located where? On the left hand side of the S plane. Clear? You should have taken some class in control along the way. No control classes whatsoever? Somewhere belong a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. You must have taken control somewhere. But in any case, okay, this is again, as I told you last time, by the way, from the transfer function, you can get what? You can get the settling time or the acquisition time. And remember, how did we find this? How do you find this is what? Is that if the frequency of the input changes, how long does it take you to what? To acquire it. How long does it take you to what? To lock into it. And then what? Keep tracking of the phase. The acquisition needs to come before what? Before tracking. This is equation, but it's too much. If you, I'm not going to ask you any of these questions in the final exam. But to figure out these questions, these equations, you need to have some background in what? In control. Are you following that? In control. And I'm not sure you do have that uh, background. So let's not worry about that. <clears throat> what, I, what I want you to understand is the following, is the frequency and the phase error. The phase error is this guy. So when you say, when we say calculate the what? The a phase error, when you say calculate the phase error transfer function, means what? It is this divided, what is the overall transfer function? The overall transfer function is this divided by this. Did you get this or not? When you talk about the phase error transfer function, it's what? This guy divided by this guy. Clear? This is what you get. M times what? S over what? SM plus KP, KVCO. Clear? Okay. From this, by the way, let's see if you remember this. What is the steady state error? What is the steady state error? Is the limit as what? Theta. E. T. As T approaches what? Infinity. Anybody knows what this is in the S domain? It's limit as what? S approaches zero, S, phi e of S. Did you get this or not? Do I want this one to have poles at S equal to zero? Because if this term, just this term, if it has poles at S equal to zero, not zeros, poles, 
suppose if it has at s equal to what? Zero, what will happen? What will happen is that it will become what? Infinity, and what is one over infinity? One over infinity will be equal to what? Will be equal to zero. Did you understand that or not? Which means what? The steady state error go to zero. Clear? Okay. <clears throat> Notice, by the way, this, you need the PE of S, you need to multiply by what? P, in other words, PE, e, P, E of S equal to what? M, S over what? S, M plus KP, KVCO times what? P, N of S. Do you follow me or not? P, N of S. Clear? Clear? If the phase, by the way, if the input phase is changing in a step function, what is this? If it is changing in a step function, what is this? You are losing me here. If it is changing in a step function, what is this? If the phase is changing in a step function, and this one will be what? 1 over s. The unit step function is 1 over s. If it is ramp, which means what? The frequency is changing in a step. This one will be what? 1 over what? S square, and so on, so on. Anyway, all of these are what? Are control the time issues. Is so if you are not familiar with control issues, this one does not make any, any sense to you. This is just an example of an error. If there is a step change in the input frequency, then omega i s equal to what? Omega i over what? Over s. That's a change. And what? A step change in what? Input frequency. What does that mean? The input suddenly changed from one frequency do you understand why did I say suddenly? So because it's a step function. Suddenly changed from one frequency to what? It's another frequency. I follow that. So the, the WI is replaced by what? WI is replaced by what? WIS. If you plug it in the equation, you will see that the steady state error equal to what? Equal to zero. Because of what? Because of the poles at S equal to zero. However, if you make the input phase is a RAM function. Sorry, for the above case, the input phase will be a what? A RAM function. If the frequency, did I make it, did I make something wrong? For the above case, the input phase, the input phase will be a what? A RAM function, because the frequency is a what? Step function. So the input will, uh, the phase will be a what? A RAM function, which is what? S square. And the steady state error is this. You can calculate it to see uh, uh, the, the problem. By the way, if there is a steady state error in the phase, it is an extremely serious problem, especially for what? for clock uh, recovery, for a clock recovery. Why? If you remember, which is doubtful, which is very doubtful, very doubtful. Remember when we were talking about intersymbol interference? And I told you, you could still design the wave shaping, even if what? Even if there is contribution in the other, as long as at the point of sampling, there is no what? There is no contribution from the other symbols, yes? then you can have what? Zero intersymbol interference. But if the clock is not precise, once you what? Once there is a jitter in the clock, once there is a jitter in the clock, you are going to get what? The intersymbol interference that we talked about earlier. Clear? Okay, good. Now, this is a second order PLL. What does it mean? It means I introduce a what? I introduced a filter in the loop. What is this filter? I introduce a filter which is what? One over S. That is a pure or an ideal integrator. Did you get my point or not? You cannot design this using passive network. You need to use a what? You need to use an active network. Active network means what? Like an operational amplifier. If you see this quickly, let me see. If you can help. Are you familiar with op amp? Okay. Let's assume that I have this and. R. C. What is the transfer function of this guy? What is the transfer function of this guy? It's H of S or F of S. F of S. Help me. Help me. 1 over what? SC divided by what? R. Did you get this or not? Yeah. With, with, sorry. With a minus sign. Why minus sign? Because you are applying in the negative. Huh? I messed up? Okay. Which is what? Minus 1 over what? S. R. C. R. C. It's just a constant. In other words, are you getting fewer integrator? you are getting pure integrator. But you cannot get this using what? Using passive networks. You cannot get this one using passive network. What you get is a lag network, for example, if you will have like this. Just an example. Let's assume that you do have like this. Uh, 
like this something like R1 and this is R2. What is the FS here? FS is what is, help me, R2 plus what? Help me, 1 over what? Uh, SC over what? R1 plus R2 plus what? 1 over SC. So you get something what? You get 1 plus SCR over what? SCR2 over what? 1 plus SCR1 plus what? R2. Did you get this or not? It's not an idea. By the way, is this a low pass filter? That is a low pass filter. An integrator is a low pass filter. Did you get my point or not? An integrator is a low pass filter. Clear? Yes or no? Okay. But, but this one is not a pure what? It's not a pure integrator. This pure integrator is, a, is an active component. Okay. Now, if you plug this, F of S, if you plug one of S in the loop, you are going to get a what? A second degree. Are you following me or not? Now, once you get a second degree, it means what? It means that you generated what? Two imaginary poles. Two imaginary poles, the characteristic function. And you end up with a curve like this. You are all familiar with this. Are you familiar with this? This is the what? This is the typical what? A typical second order system. The denominator what? S squared plus two sigma. Sorry, two C omega N S plus omega N square. What is the C? What do we call the C? The damping factor. And what do we call omega N? The natural frequency. And through the use, through the controlling of the value of C and omega N, you can control the what? The overshoot, the steady state, the settling time. Settling time usually is defined as what? When the output reaches to roughly 1%. Plus or minus 1% from the what? From the ideal value. Ideal value, let's assume the input is a step. This one will what? Fluctuate around this. When it reaches to plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 2%, that's what is referred to as what? Settling time that you have settled. Clear? Okay, I'll overshoot in here, underdamped. This one is the underdamped. This one overdamped and so on and so forth. Clear? Okay, but again, I, I cannot dwell on this one if you do not have background in what? in control. There is no point in that. Clear? Okay, so this is just an overview here. This is again how to get the settling down. You can see the equations, all of it resulting from... By the way, do not assume that these equations are complicated. These are not, but you need to sit down and what? Factor out each term and find the roots of the characteristic polynomial or characteristic function of the trans function and see where they... Enter. In other words, create what is known as a what? Root locus. Do you remember the root locus? This is all about the root locus. So it's not difficult. Don't say, oh, this equation, oh, by the way, no way I will ask about this in the final exam. But I'm just telling you that it's not a big deal here. Uh, if you do have a little bit of a background in what? A background in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, I don't know, in what? In uh, control. Clear? Okay. The noise analysis is even what? Even more complicated. Because the noise is coming from what sources? From the reference signal, you might say, Professor, didn't you say the reference is highly accurate? Still, you are not going to get what? A single impulse. There will still some be what? Some phase noises around it. You need to take that into account from a phase detector, from a divider, frequency divider, from a loop filter, from the VCO, and every one of them, you need to what? You need to model it as a what? As a noiseless system plus a what? Plus an added system. Uh, sorry, plus added noise or a noise saw. Clear? And you end up with a you end up with an equivalent circuit like this, and you do the what? All the noise analysis that we have done earlier. And I say you are going to end up with all of these equations. Not hard equations, but you need to sit down and what? Write the transfer functions and stuff like that. All of this, by the way, all of this material is what we used to cover in that course that I was telling you about last time, the 664. It's, it's what's called synchronization systems. Clear? Uh, so all of this we, we, we used to cover it there. But for some reason, the class is, uh, is disconnected. I don't know why. Uh, to me, it's very important synchronization because you need it in every step of the way. Clear? In every step of the way. But keep in mind one thing. Synchronizations other than the carrier sync or the others, clock synchronization and code synchronization and so on, are all done in the back end, done in the what? In the digital domain rather than in the what? In the analog domain, which means what? After you convert, in other words, the output of the IF filter will go into what? Into an ADC. ADC stands for what? The analog to digital converter. And then the, D, the digital processing will what? Will take place, including the demodulation, including the decoding, including the decompression, including the interleaving, if there is any one of them, including the what? Decoding of 
forward error correction, if you use forward error correction, all of this is done in the what? In the digital domain, and you will take it in EE, EE 536, 7, no, 36, B. Anybody taking this class or is it planning to take this class? This class is only on what? On the ADC, DACs, and so on and so forth. ADC, the analog digital converter, DAC, digital to analog converter, where you study the, the specification for the quantizer, calculate the quantization noise, the speed of the converters, and so on and so forth, or resolution, and so on and so forth. I want you to see the synthesizer where it is located in the middle. This is what? This is the transmitter side. Do we need the synthesizer? It is here. By the way, is it the same block? It is the same block, but on this side, is generating certain set of frequencies, and this side you are generating what? The receiver set of frequencies, but it's the same block. So from here, this is again the digital baseband, the DAC, the low pass filter, up converter, the power amplifier. This one is the what? Is the receiver side, the LNA, the down converter. By the way, in the down converter, you have all what? All the things that we talked about, which means what? The image rejection filter, the mixer, the IF, and so on. So when it reaches to the, to the, excuse me, the ADC here, ADC, the analog to digital converter, and here everything is done in, uh, in uh, digital stuff. <coughs> excuse me. Okay, this, okay, now, are we done here? No, we are not done here. As they, by the way, different standards, different synthesizers. You can read this one on your own. Some standard, the wideband CDMA, the Bluetooth, the IS95. IS95 is the CDMA system, uh, generation two, generation two. IS54 is the TDMA system, generating generation two, G2. DECT is the European system, digital, uh, digital, uh, digital uh, equipment, co uh, cordless telephone, digital equipment, digital electron, digital elec I don't know what E stands for, I forgot, but it's what, cordless phone, this is for the cordless telephones, DCS is the digital um, cellular system, digital cellular system, GSM is the, is the global system for whatever, mobile communications and so on, so on. wideband CDMA, the UMTS stands for what, the, the universal mobile telecommunication systems and so on and so forth. This is the third generation stuff. Oh, now, one more thing I need to show you before I bid you farewell, which is, which is, uh, which is appropriate, which is the following. Don't write anything, just listen to me, and, uh, and, uh, but you will see a question on this in the final, in the cookie section, in the cookie section. So I need you to understand what does this mean. This means, this is what we know, what we call the digital, the direct digital synthesizer. The circuit looks like this. This is where... This is this guy. This is this guy. This. So what do you see? The components. A counter, a read-only memory. Are you following or not? And then a DAC, the digital to analog converter, and then a low-pass filter. Clear? I want you to see this ROM because this is the major issue here. What is this ROM here? This ROM will store values of a what? A sine wave. The values of a sine wave. Values means what? Amplitude. Are you following or not? For each what? For each phase, what is the amplitude? Did you get this or not? In other words, what this one is going to change is the what? Is a phase to what? Amplitude. The input is a phase. The output is a what? The corresponding amplitude of a sine wave. Are you following me or not? So what are you getting here? What you are getting here is a what? Is a, is a, a, a staircase type function. As you what? As you go around the what? Around the a sine wave cycle. This one will what? Smooth it up to generate what? This. Clear? Now, let's get into the detail. This is what we have. The digital direct, uh, sorry, di direct digital synthesizer. Why do we call it dig direct? We call it direct because there is no what? There is no feedback. So it's not a PLL based. Clear? We call it digital because everything is done in the what? In the digital domain. Let's understand what we have here. This is the system clock. The system clock is deriving, of course, all what? All the devices, including the what? The phase accumulator, the phase to amplitude counter, converter, and the what? And the DAC. Clear? Now, when you see here N, when you see here M, what does it mean? What does this sign mean? Means this is what? N bit long. Did you get my point or not? This one means what? M bit long. 
but instead of writing what? Instead of putting M inputs, you just put one line and you what? Put a slash in it to represent what? To represent that it's M. Huh? Yeah, but, but it's what? It's a bus that contains a word. Do you find uh, this is the M word? We call it the what? The M word, which I will show you in just a second. Okay. Now, I want you to understand, first of all, what is this one is doing, which is what is known as the what? As the phase wheel. We call it phase wheel. It's like the wheel of fortune. Just a joke, just a joke. It's a phase wheel. <clears throat> what do we have here? When you go around the wheel, what phase are you going to span? 360 degree. Do we agree? Which represent what? One cycle. Are you following me or not? If you are going, listen to me very carefully. If you are going, let's assume just for the sake of argument, there are many points on this phase. If you are going to jump from one phase to the next phase without skipping, without skipping any point, without skipping any point, will it take you longer to go around the circle or shorter? It will take you longer, which means what? It means, remember, the frequency is inversely proportional to the what? To the period. Did you get my point or not? <coughs> Did you get my point or not? Which means what? It means if the period is longer, then what does it mean? It means the frequency is what? Smaller. Agree? Now, listen to me. If you go from this point to this point, which means what? You skip all of these. You skip all of these. In other words, you go from here, 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 here. Did you finish the cycle quicker? Which means what? If you finish the cycle quicker, what does it mean? It means that the frequency will what? Will increase. Did you get this or not? What do we want to control? We want to control the, when this one goes around the wheel, this accumulator, this is the accumulator, accumulating phases, whether it will skip some phase or whether it will go into every what? Every, every one of them. Did you understand what I'm, yes or no? To go from here to here, you need what? One clock cycle. You are losing me here or not? To go, in other words, this accumulator, every clock cycle of this, this one will go what? Will go one step. But that one step could be what? Could be this or it could be what? This. Do you understand that or not? Yes, you are losing me? Are you losing me? Who controls that? Who controls the M? Do you see the M? This M? That's this input, which is called what? The tuning word. The tuning word. The tuning word will decide what? Will decide whether you are what? Whether you are going to take. If, by the way, if M is equal to what? One, what does it mean? If M is equal to one. This is a word. If M is equal to one, what does it mean? It means that you are going through what? Each individual what? Each individual phase point on the what? On the wheel, on the phase wheel. Yes or no? Will the output frequency be high or low? Oh, it will be low, which I'll show you in just a second. Clear? What is this one is generating? This one is going to read the what? The accumulator. Read the accumulator. Means what? Read this point. In what, in how many, uh, in what accuracy? In n bit. So this n bit represent a what? A phase. <clears throat> yes or no? It represents a certain phase on the what? On the wheel. What is this? This is a ROM. Uh, what is a ROM stands for? Read only memory. There is no E at the end. E it becomes ROM. No sense of humor. No sense of humor. You are glad this is the last day of the semester. Yes, I'm sure you are all glad. But anyway, listen to me. It's, what was I talking about? This room has a what? A table. What is the table? If the phase is this, the amplitude is what? This. If the phase is this, the amplitude is what? Is this. Did you get my point or not? What, um, how do you know the amplitude? It's a sine wave. If I tell you that uh, x is equal to what? A sine theta, or sorry, x equal to what? Sine theta. And I tell you plug in theta, different values. 
would you be able to tell me what is the value? And that's the value is in the ROM. Did you understand that or not? This one, the output, will be what? Will be the amplitude of the what? Of the output of the phase accumulator. In other words, whatever the phase in here, this will be the what? The corresponding what? Amplitude. Yes? How would this one look like? How would this one look like? It looked like what? By the way, all of these are what? Digital. Yes or no? Cannot hear you. That's all. I need to change it to what? Analog. So I need to use a what? A DAC. Which is what? A digital to analog? Converter. What am I getting? Do I get a sine wave? I get a sine wave. But it's not a clean sine wave. Why? Because of the, of the digital to, uh, to the analog converter is a what? It's a staircase type. Did you get my point or not? So what do I need to do to it? I need to smooth those edges. Do you see those edges? I need to smooth them. So what do I do? I use a low pass filter to smooth them. Clear? Yes or no? Let's see if you can help me with the math. But did you understand the concept? Did you understand the concept? What, what is the most important thing here? The most important thing is to understand that this is the what? This one is the one that will decide whether this frequency is what? High or what? Low. Did you get this or not? And what is the next thing to realize? To realize is that this one will be incremented every what? Every clock cycle. Every clock. Every clock cycle, this one will be what? Incremented. Incremented. Clear? That's why we called it what? Accumulator. By the way, until what? Until it goes through what? One complete cycle, then what happens? Repeat itself. Did you get my point or not? Repeat itself. Clear? Oh, let's see if you can help me with the equations. Yes. Do you have the control on the of uh, Yes, you do. Can you give me a minute? I, I need to show you an equation. But of course you do have the control. That's what you are controlling. But I need you to wait a second until I show you the equations. Can you be patient a little bit? You have no choice. I'm, I'm just being polite here. Wait a second until I show you the equations, please. Okay. The output frequency, F sub zero, this guy, F sub zero, depends on the reference clock, on the reference clock. Why is it depending on the reference clock? The accumulator is accumulating based on what? The reference clock, which means what? If this one is slow, so is the what? So is this one also will be slow. Do you get this point or not? This is accumulating every what? Every clock cycle. Clear? Okay. So it depends on the what? On the reference clock, F sub C, and the binary number called a what? A tuning word. Do you understand why do I call it a binary number? It is a binary number because it's digitally controlled. They call this one, by the way, they call it what? NCO. NCO stands for what? Numerically controlled what? Oscillator. A numerically controlled oscillator. Did you get this or not? Yes or no? That's a number. How many bits long? M bits long. But I'm not going to sketch what? I'm not going to sketch M, uh, M thing. I represent it by a bus and I put a line. It means what? M, uh, M, uh, M buses. Sorry, M uh, inputs. Clear? Okay, good. We'll see and what that means in just a second. The phase accumulator computes the phase angle address, the phase angle address for the lookup table. The lookup table is this guy. Yes? Which generates a digital value of the amplitude. Not the amplitude, but the digital value of the amplitude. Why it is a digital? It's a digital because this is a what? It's a memory. Are you following or not? You are going to store what? Zeros and ones here. You are not going to store what? Seven and eight. So it will get what? It will generate a digital value of the amplitude, which corresponds to the sign of the phase angle. Corresponds to the sign of the phase angle. The DAC will convert the number to analog, that number, which is what? Digital value of the amplitude. Will he convert it to analog? And then the low pass filter will smooth the sharp edges at the output of the DAC to generate the sine wave. Clear? Okay. Now, let's get into the detail. This is the what? This is the sine wave. Visualize the sine wave as a vector. Wrote, in other words, think about the sine wave. This is a sine wave. Think about the sine wave as a vector rotating around the what? The phase wheel. Once it completes the entire rotation, what does it mean? It means that you finished what? One cycle. Clear? Each point on the phase wheel corresponds to an equivalent point on a cycle of a what? Sine wave. Each point on an sorry, on the phase wheel corresponds to an equivalent point on a what? Cycle of a sine wave. One revolution of the vector around the phase wheel at constant speed. What does constant speed mean? 
means you are going to fix what? M. For a fixed M, you are going to go around the wheel in a what? In a fixed fashion. If you change M, then it, you will change. Okay. So, one revolution of a vector around the phase wheel at a constant T result in what? One complete cycle at the output of the what? Uh, of the output sine wave. Clear? Okay. Now, let's see if you can help me with the understanding the equations here. The content of the phase accumulator, the content, the content of this guy, where is it? The content of the phase accumulator corresponds to the what? To the points on the cycle of what? Of the output of the sine wave. That's why I said this one is a what? N bit. This is an N bit. Clear? Okay. Which means what, by the way? What does it mean? It means each one of these points. Do you see the <clears throat> Do you see this zero, 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 zero? Well, how many of them? N1. And the last one will be what? One, 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 N1. How many? N1. Did you get this or not? Okay. The content of the phase accumulator corresponds to the points of the cycle on the output sine wave. The phase accumulator is actually a mod M counter. I want you to understand this. What is mod M? What if I tell you, for example, I have what? Mod 2. What is 2 mod 2? Zero. zero. 2 mod 2 is zero. Mod M, when you say mod M, means what? Means the numbers are anywhere between zero to what? M and then what? Repeat. Clear? So it's a what? The phase accumulator is actually a mod M counter that increments a store number each time it receives a what? A class cycle. The phase step size, the phase increment, or the phase step size, where is it? Where is the phase step size? Can you show me where is the phase step size? If I go, if this is M, if this is M, where is the phase increment? The phase increment is this. Did you get this or not? If M is this, small, what is the phase increment? Is this. So the phase increment is determined by who? By M. That's what it means. The phase increment or the phase step size is determined by the binary input code word M. For example, if the control word is set to 1 to unity. If M is unity, the phase accumulator will increment by what? 1 at each clock cycle. Which means, listen to me, which means how many clock cycles do I need to go over 1 complete? Sorry, how many clock cycles do I need to go over a complete rotation, a complete rotation of the phase wheel? How many? As, as, as many as what? Two to the what? How many numbers are there? Two to the n. Did you get my point or not? Two to the n. In other words, I need two to the n clock cycles to generate what? One sine wave, which means what is the output frequency? The output frequency is what? Is the reference divided by what? Two to the power n. Did you get my point or not? Okay. I, I'm not sure. So let me try harder. Just give me an example. Uh, sorry, give me a moment. For example, if the control word is set to unity, the phase accumulator will increment by one at each clock cycle. Hence, M sets how many points to skip around the what? The phase wheel. How many M decides how many points are you going to what? Skip. If you, uh, in this example, what was M? Just, uh, I mean, from the picture. What was M? M is what? M was a three. Why? Because I skipped the three points to get into what? Into the next. Okay. So, the longer, sorry, the larger the M is, why? Why the higher frequency at the output? Because you are going through the cycle very quickly. Clear? So what is the equation? Let's see if you can help me. Before we go and read. Can you tell me? Put m is equal to 1. Put m equal to 1. What did we agree a moment ago? f sub 0 is equal to what? f sub c. What is f sub c? It's the reference to the clock frequency. f sub c divided by what? 2 to the n. What is the n? n is the what? Is the number of bits representing each phase. Yes? Yes or no? 2 to the n, why? Because each point, either a 0 or a what? 1. So 2 to the n. Now, if m is more than 1, will the frequency increase? Uh, the frequency will increase. I multiply by them. Did you get my point or not? No, 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 no response. Okay, let's take, let's continue with the reading. Hold it, hold it, please. Let me, let me show you this number. I like this number. This number, I like it. Let me get to this number. 
the number of discrete phase points contained in a wheel is determined by the what? The resolution of the DTS. How much resolution do you want? Why? Well, if you look at this, what is the resolution? Can you tell me what is the resolution here? The solution is what? It's F sub C divided by what? 2 to the N. So it depends on how much resolution you want. Clear? Okay, so it's determined by what? The resolution of bits. For example, if N, which is the length of the phase accumulator in bits, is 28, which means what? How many points are there? How many points are in here? 2 to the what? 28. Then what, does, what is the, the number of points on the loop? 2 to the 28, which is this, enormous. Yes or no? Two, eight, six, whatever. So if M, the control word, is set to one, the phase accumulator will go through two to the 28 reference clock cycles to complete what? One cycle at the output. Clear? The sign lookup table stores what? How many points does he store? Two to the N uniformly spaced value of the sine wave. Did you answer why it's two to the N? Yes or no? Okay. However, most of the time, by the way, the output of this guy, the output of this guy is a truncated. Do you understand what a truncated means? Means instead of representing it by n bit, they truncate some bits which are what? The least significant bits to reduce the amount of what? Reduce the amount of storage that you need to what? Build into your ROM. Did you get my point or not? But uh, well, let's not worry about that right now. Okay. I need to show you another question, but let me get to the question. Yes, sir. Okay, tell me how. This is the equation. By making what? N. Yeah. How? Oh, what does it mean? It means you are skipping? How? Where do you go? You still need to go through one cycle. You follow me or not? By the way, that is one of the issues in the DDS. Which is what? What is the issue in the DDS? The issue in the DDS is that the frequency that you are synthesizing, even though you are able to generate a whole bunch of frequencies with very small resolution. Is that good or bad? It's a very small resolution, but it, it, it's governed by what? It's governed by how much what? How much F sub C is. Did you get this or not? And F sub C is coming from what? from the system clock, whatever the system clock is, whatever the solution you are using. Clear? Clear? Okay, good. Now, the sign lookup table stores due to the uniformly spaced values of the sine wave and provides a digital output that is equal to the sign of the linear increasing. We already did this. The phase, huh? Question? Question? Okay. The phase accumulator increment by M, we already talked about this, at each clock reference cycle, and hence every M's value of the sine wave table will be sent to the DAC. Now, I want you to understand one thing here, because this is related to what you are saying. Clear? Okay. Nyquist sampling rate, what did he tell me? What did Nyquist tell us? He tell us that a sine wave is uniquely determined if what? Two or more samples are provided for every what? Cycle of a waveform. Where did this come from? Remember Nyquist? You forgot about Nyquist? Nyquist tells you what? It tells you that the sampling rate has to be at least what? Twice the highest frequency component of the signal being what? Being sampled. Which means how many points do you need to take on the phase wheel? At least how many points? I'm not sure that you get my point. Uh, you need more than two. By the way, if you are two, if you're taking two, what two? Tell me, what is it? You are taking this one, and then you are jumping all the way to what? Here. And then this is what? The new one. The new one, which is the repetition, which means what? In one cycle, how many points did you take? Two points. In other words, what I'm trying to tell you is that with two points, you are trying to come up with a what? Sine wave. With two samples, you are going to try to get a what? With a sine wave. It's good or not so good? Not so good. You need to take a little bit more what? More samples, which means what? By the way, when I say more samples, what does it mean? It means that you need to reduce M to go into what? More of these in one cycle rather than put, jump. And what you want is what? You want to jump what? This is what you want. Listen to me. <laughs> what is this? Did you get my point or not? Yes or no? 
No response. Yes or no? Okay. So, NICOR sampling theorem tells you a sine wave is uniquely determined if two or more samples are... What, is, what does it mean, uniquely determined? Uniquely determined. What does it mean? Remember what sampling, what NICOR told us, told us that if you are sampling the signal at a rate which is at least twice the highest frequency component, then you can recover the analog signal from the wet samples without any wet without any losses, at least theoretically speaking, without any losses, you will be able to recover what? To be recovering the original signal. Otherwise, what will happen? What phenomenon happen? Aliasing. There will be aliasing, which means what? It means that you are not going to be able to recover what? To be able to recover the original signal uh, from it. The maximum value of M should be such that two reference cycles are required. The maximum, maximum value of M should be such that Two reference cycles are required to complete one trip around the phase wave, which means what? F not max, I'm, I'm substituting here. F not max is equal to what? F sub C. Over what? Over two, which means what is M? What did you choose M? M, you chose it to be what? Two to the N minus what? Minus one. Did you get this or not? So when you divide 2 to the n minus 1 by 2 to the n, you get what? You get to F, F0 max or, 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 or over 2. What is the minimum? What is the minimum? The minimum is m is equal to what? 1, which means what? F sub c over what? Over 2. Clear? Clear? No response. This will be in the final, in the quickie section. So these equations, all of these equations, make sure you have it in your what? And you are 8 by 11. Did you get this or not? The, the point is that you need to make sure to understand what to plug. Where to plug what? In other words, what is the question is giving you and where to plug it in the equation? Clear? Everybody should get what? Should get whatever this one will be worth, three points or four points. Clear? Again, as I told you, I recommend the first question you answer in the final exam is the question on the what? On the synthesizer. Because it's not going to be hard. The questions that will be a little bit hard will be the, 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 the amplifier, the power amplifier, the mixers, whatever, whatever other stuff. Uh, by the way, I don't want to think about the final right now until uh, one day or two days before the final. I sit down and write. I always wait till the last minute to write exams. Clear? Clear? Oh, now, one more thing I need to show you before I let you go. I know you are ready to let go. Let's look at some designs. Of uh, all of this, by the way, is material of EE 477 of dividers. 477 or EE 457. I, I'm not sure which one, but dividers. Yes, we have all of these dividers that we saw in the phase lock loop and stuff like that. Can we see some of them so that we can see digital stuff? Some of them that you have seen before. I'm sure that you have seen before. So, for example. Let's assume I have this one. Let's see if you can tell me. Just a simple one. What's it, what is a divider? A divider is actually a counter. So you do have a clock coming in, a clock coming in, and I want to what? I want to divide this clock into what? Subclocks. You want to divide by two, divide by three, divide by four, whatever the case might be. Did you get this or not? Okay, so now what do I have? Let's look at this example, just simple example. This is the what? This is the clock. Okay, now let's assume that we are using a T. We are using a T flip-flop. What is a T flip-flop? The toggle. It's called the toggle flip-flop. By the way, you can change any flip-flop to any other flip-flop very easily. So if you don't have in the lab a T flip-flop, if you have a D flip-flop, then you can change a T flip-flop to a D flip-flop. Okay. Now, before we, before I add uh, this, what do I call this, each one of these? That's a flip-flop. Are you following that? That's a flip-flop. And we are, when we do this, is that we are having a what? We have some kind of a counter. Oh. Now, let's assume that I put a what? A one in here. Now, why did I put a one here? Now, you number. In the T flip-flop, whenever the T is what? One. With the clock, the flip-flop will what? Toggle. Now, what do I mean by with the clock? Either with the what? Positive edge of the clock, 
or the what? Negative edge of the clock. Each one, by the way, each one of these flip-flops is actually a what? A master slave. Do you remember this or not? A master slave flip-flop, which means what? <coughs> it's edge triggered, either on the positive edge or the what? On the negative edge. Now, when you see in the diagram this symbol, do you see the symbol? That means what? It's on the positive edge. If you see a circle in here, a small, I think it's my hair. So if you put a circle in here, then that's a what? That's a negative going edge. Clear? Let's put this one here, a one, and this is what is this, Q? This is what, Q? Now, why did I put a one here? I'm looking at this. I have, this is, listen to me. This is A, this is what, B, and this is what, C. Now, if you write the truth table of A, B, C, what would you get? You would get zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, no, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, e, one, e, one, e, one. Claire, what can you tell me about the first bit? Uh, sorry, this, I'm sorry. <sighs> what can you tell me about the A? A will what? Will toggle zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. You follow me or not? Okay. B is supposed to toggle only when what? Only when A changes from what? One to zero. Did you get this or not? From one to zero. So where am I going to take it? I'm going to take it from Q bar to what? To T. Yes? Not from Q to T, but from what? Q bar to T, because I want the toggle to be what? From one to zero, rather than what? Zero to one. Did you get my point or not? Oh. Yes or no? Okay. What about the, the C? I want to toggle it when what? When what? When both A and B toggle from what? One, when they both reach one one and they toggle to what? Zero zero. So what do I do? Did you get it? Yes or no? Okay, when, when you take it, what, from, what is this, by the way? This is Q bar A, this is what? Q bar B. You take it to what? To this D. Clear? Right, let's uh, sketch the, way, uh, the uh, clocks to see what division did I achieve with this circuit. How many flip-flops? Three flip-flops. Clear? Those flip-flops, by the way, are very cheap stuff. This is very cheap, and this AND gate is, uh, cheap. It's, you know, they, uh, they tell you, I come and pick it, pick, pick it up for nothing. For free, you know, just clean it up and take it. Okay, what is this, this number one? You mean I did not write anything today? Is this still the one? Yeah, this is me. That's me. <laughs> That's me. That's me. <laughs> okay, there's the clock. This is the clock. Yes? Okay, tell me now. Tell me, how will QA, how does QA look like? Now remember, T is what? It's one. So on the positive going edge of the clock, this one will what? Talk. Now let's assume initially it's what? The counter is what? Clear to what? Zero. By the way, there is a what here. There is a what? Clear? What, what does this zero mean? Uh, sorry, what does this circle mean? It's active what? Active law. Active law, which means what? Which means you need to apply a what? <clears throat> you need to apply what? A one in here, because it's active law. So the one is inverted to be zero. It's active law. Clear? Oh, so let's assume it's zero. What do I have? The first call, the call, the clock, this one will be what? I'm sketching now QA. Agree? This one. Remain this. This one now, it toggle what? Low. I messed up. I messed up. 
I messed up. I know I messed up. Jeez. I don't want to sketch it again. This one should be where? On the positive going edge. This, so this one is here. With madness. Madness. Okay, let's sketch it again. Help me. It's not a sketch to scale. You do understand it's not sketch to scale. Yes? Okay, I, you can continue on your own. Tell me what is this with relation to this? Divide by what? Two. Now, continue. What is B? What does B look like? B, half of this guy. You follow me on that? In other words, B is like going to be like this. I made a mistake? I made a mistake? Okay. One second. Where is it? No, this one is one. Yes or no? This is divided by what? This one is divided by what? Clear? Uh, how about C? I, uh, this, uh, this sketch did not come clean. How about C? Divide by what? Eight. All right, so the C is what? Did you get Huh? There is divide by eight. So you generated yourself or what? Generate yourself, divide by what? Divide by two, divide by what? Four, divide by what? Eight. Did you get this or not? Okay, by the way, you could also have divide by, does not have to be a power of what? Does not have to be a power of two. You can design divide by what? Three, divide by this. And the counter, by the way, you can design the counter, does not have to go through. And here, by the way, the counter, did he go through all states? You don't need to, the, the counter does not need to go through all states. You can what? Design it such that the counter will go through what? Singular stages. Are you following or not? By the way, if you take this counter, let's, by the way, first of all, what is the problem with this? Do you see a problem with this? From a technical point of view. This is a synchronous counter. Do you, either, do you answer why it is synchronous? Synchronous because all the clocks are what? They are the same clock here. So what does that imply? It implies, first of all, is the jitter high or low? Jitter, jitter. Jitter is very low. Is that good or bad? It's bad. Why? Because these are going to toggle what? Irrespective of the previous one. They are synchronized. Yes? But the problem is that the loading on the what? On the clock is what? It's high. Because the clock is now driving how many flip-flops? It's driving three flip-flops. And if we want to design more divisions, you are going to have what? More flip-flops. The load on the clock is going to be what? High. This is, by the way, what is referred to. You will take it also. I don't know if you will take it. But if you have taken 477, this is what is referred to as a what? A fan out. A fan out means what? The ability of a what? Ability of the gate to drive what? Other gates, output gates. Does it supply enough what? Enough current to support what? To support operations of the output gates and so on and so forth. Clear? Okay, so the more you need more what? Much you need more power. How about this one? Have you seen this one? Anybody knows? What this one is called? If I'm taking it from the Q bar back, this is a D flip flop. Anybody? Hey, didn't you take 477? Huh? <laughs> Cannot hear you. I think you forgot it, but you must have taken it. But you forgot. This is called the Johnson. Count. Clear division by two, simple division by two from the Q bar to what? To D. <clears throat> Notice, by the way, if you take it from the Q to D, you are stuck. Why do you stuck? Because if you cleared it, if you cleared it, this one does not have an external input. Yes or no? This, this one does not have an external input. So if you take it from the Q to D, uh -oh, oh, zero, 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 never get out. You follow me on that? But if you want to take it from Q bar, what will this one be? It will be what? Q bar is one. This one becomes one. The next clock cycle, this one becomes one. This one becomes what? Zero, and so on and so forth. 
Did you get this or not? I see you can't contain. Clear? Clear? Now, if, as far as frequency multiplier, these are dividers. By the way, there are different types of dividers, but most of them are based on what? Either, what is the opposite of synchronous counters? Asynchronous counters. Asynchronous counters means what? Means the clock of the second flip-flop is driven by what? By the output of the first flip-flop, not by the, by the clock. So the clock is not, <coughs> is not a synchronous clock for the entire machine. It's just a drive, the clock is driving how many flip-flops? One flip-flop. Whereas the rest are what? It's driven by what? By the previous one. In this case here, will it be, the jitter, by the way, will be higher or lower? It will be higher, but the amount of power required will be what? Will be lower, for, especially from the clock, because you are, you only need to what? You only need to drive just first of the clock. This one, by the way, you will take it in EE, the, the, synch the asynchronous. I'm not sure if any one of you have taken this. Five. I'm not sure about is this the right number or not. It's called asynchronous uh, VLSI or something like that. Was 552? Anybody? Nobody? No, I well, forget it. <laughs> Clear? Okay. Frequency multipliers, this is divider. Frequency multipliers are what? Again, as I told you. Fre remember, when I say frequency multiplication, doesn't mean you multiply the amplitude. You multiply the what? The frequency, the whole idea is to use a what? A nonlinear device. A nonlinear device. With a nonlinear device, you are going to generate what? Harmonics. By putting a what? Band pass filter at the output of the nonlinear device, you can what? You can select the desired what? Desired harmonics and reject others. Uh, a frequency multiplier is nothing else than a what? Than a mixer. When you are mixing the Gilbert, remember the Gilbert mixer? Especially the double balance. The double balance where you do have what? where you do have the local oscillator is what? Doubly balanced, and the RF also is what? Doubly balanced. You are going to get what? You are going to get a multiplier, different frequencies and so forth. The fractional in the phase lock loop, the fractional uh, N is what? Remember what I showed you last time. You are going to switch between what? Two factors. You, are, you switch between what? N and what? N plus one. You need to calculate, controlled, you need to calculate how many cycles you need to divide by what? N, and how many cycles you need to divide by what? N plus one. So you need to count. There is an accumulator counting how many what? How many cycles was divided by N? When you reach the number, what do you do? You switch the what? The divider into what? Into the next integer. Yes or no? Into the next integer. Count how many pulses you need to what? You need to divide using that other integer, and then what? Return. In other words, the switch will become from where to where, n, n plus 1, n, n plus 1, and so on, so <clears throat> And you adjust it based on the fraction. I think I showed you example last time. What was it? I forgot. I, I was like 4 point something, 4.25. So it was what? It was 4 plus what? 4 plus 4 plus what? 5, which means what? For every three cycles, you divide by 4. The fourth cycle, you divide by what? 5. And if you take the average over 4, what do you get? Uh, 12, 17, 2, 4, 2, 5. Clear? It's based on this. You can what? You can decide how many cycles you what? How, how many cycles you, 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 uh, you will be able to what? You will be able to generate. Clear? Clear? No response. Yes or no? That's it. Yes, sir. Do you need more than two? How many do you need? Three. <laughs> Don't be greedy. You said two. I told you how many do you need? You said three. I said three. Now you are uh, up, up in more. Four, five. There is not that many equations. However, make sure all the equations, all the equations on the what? On the uh, the, the, this business about the what? The 1 dB compression, the dynamic range, the OIP, OIIP3, and so on and so forth. All of them have to be in your 8 by 11s. Do you understand that or not? All of them. Clear? No response. Clear? Okay. Huh? What happened? Uh, uh, any, any cables? Any cables? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I want any demos. I thought he said any demos. What is it going to? By the way, there will be no question per se on a transmission line. In other words, I'm not going to ask you a question per se on a transmission line. However, the reason I said the IIP3 and the IIP2 and the A1DB compression is important because they are related to the what? To the power amplifier and to the LNA. Did you understand that or not? So this is part of the amplifier design. But I am not going to ask you questions on the, on the uh, transmission line per se. Clear? However, I still recommend you bring it just in case the question asks you to design a matching circuit and you prefer to use a what? A transmission line as a what? As a matching circuit. Clear? The, the, it, I cannot break this one into separately before the midterm and after the midterm. Everything is what? Related together. By the way, if you think we covered, if you think we covered more than one-tenth of what should be covered, you are dreaming. RF is a huge subject, cannot be covered in one semester. I, you notice, by the way, I never stopped talking through the entire semester, true or false. Did I stop talking? I brrr, like a machine, like it's like you are uh, uh, clocking the machine, tell, tell you what, start talking. But this is the, the, the field is so complicated. There are a lot of issues involved. But I try to bring to the front the important issues that they, they deal with in the real world and so on and so forth. Clear? Oh. So, three, do you want to three? Yeah, uh, three, three. Both sides, by the way, that's six. Uh, six. Professor? Uh, huh? Uh, five minutes left, just heads up. Oh, okay. Uh, the, the tables, by the way, make sure that you do have the vessel table. Did I post the vessel table? Yes. Yes. If not, let me know. I will post the vessel table. Vessel table, the Fourier transform table. What other table? Laplace, I'm not sure you need the Laplace. Uh, bring the Laplace transform table. Did I post it? I will post. What else? What table do, are you talking about? At the beginning, I thought you said cable. Oh, sorry. I, I'm looking at the wrong person. Yeah. Is this? Yeah, vessel function, you need. The question on the vessel will be in the cookies. So I give you a question on the FM that requires you to use the vessel function. So you need to know how to use it. Clear? The, the exam, by the way, same style as the what? As the meta, which means what? Some of it will be true and false. Some of it will be fill in the blank. But either way, in either case, the exam will be long. I do not give short exams. Do you understand that or not? Which means what? You need to be on your feet, and you need to think very quickly. If you come unprepared, whether the exam is short or long, I, uh, I, I, you are not going to do well. Clear? Clear? Okay. Good luck for your other classes, although I really don't care. I only care about my class, how you do in my class. But anyway, I'm just being polite here. Good luck in your other classes, and remember, I will be in my office Saturday, this Saturday, and next Saturday. However, this Saturday, chances are you will not have a chance to see me because I will be over my head with my other two classes. The next Saturday, nobody will show up other than you guys because they will be done with their exam. Why would they come and see me? Nobody they just want to get rid of me. So nobody will see me. Clear? Good luck. This concludes EE 544 on Thursday, May 1st, 2014.